Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, we got a big nasty white oak log we're going to saw here for a local customer. Uh, he's uh, got some sentimental value to this one, so we're going to see what we can do for him. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, tag along with me and we'll saw this baby up. So let's see what we got here for uh, a base on this log. I'm thinking it's 30, but we got a 32 inch white oak um, it has about a well at least 18 inches of rot one way and then another 17 inches the other so this guy wanted uh, a couple five quarter boards out of it i don't know why but that's what he wants out of this log and uh as you can see here, it's pretty ugly looking. Um, but I can get some straight boards out of it out of the, right off the top side here. This bottom, most of that's gonna be junk because if you look here on this limb, <sighs> it's pretty rotten and hollow. So the bottom of this side of this log is gonna be junk. The top seems like it's pretty solid. This top limb is solid. This one's in case, that's solid. So we just gotta saw it open and see what we get. So come along with me and we're gonna saw this up and see what we yield. So this log here is uh, one of the biggest white oak logs that I've sawed on the sawmill. Um, not because of like diameter, but because of warp and size of the knot. So, so the base was 32 inches, but the widest point on this log was probably 41 inches wide. Um, if you went from knot to knot or um, uh, sweep on one side to not on the other side there's about 41 inches of uh, variation this end facing the sawmill here this end is only about 19 inches in diameter so it's uh, got a very big taper to it as you can see here it's got a big sweep on the bottom um, right now I'm just trying to cut it down to size so it fits through the cutthroat so I can actually get one solid slab off of this but so far um, I've just been whittling away down at it it's been taking a while but it's uh, it's gonna fit just gotta take a little bit of time to do it um, one of the biggest reasons why this log is taking forever is because the max height on this sawmill is 38 um, I can't get it up high enough to make a small cut on the butt end um, so I have to keep turning it until I can get it to fit the way I want it to fit and here I can finally get a solid cut uh, one way off of it so then we'll turn it and uh, you can start uh, really whittling away down at it so we had to take it off the sawmill and then uh, put it back on the sawmill just because I couldn't turn it and uh, the only way I could turn it was by taking it off the mill and setting it on the ground uh, so I can move it with the skid steer, so that's what we did. Now that we got it to fit, we can start uh, whittling it down the rest of the way so it fits. Uh, this side here, we're just going to trim off these knots. Uh, we got to get some of these big knots out of the way so that uh, they don't interfere with the way of the cut. Um, I've tried cutting a couple of them off with the chainsaw. Um, doesn't seem to work out very well. Um, most of them are pretty flush to the log itself. It's just I do need some of the knots on to help keep uh, the log level and weighted right while it's on the mill. Um, but some of the knots just seem to be uh, just too big and uh, So fast forward a couple days and we're back uh, sawing this big white oak log. This is the uh, cant that we got left. Uh, it's got a lot of rotten defect in it and here is horribly rotten. Um, this is a cut just to finally square the cant up. It was a little out of square so that's why this slab is a little different. Um, so now we got it squared we can start cutting our five quarter boards. We're going to take a couple boards off and then rotate it because we got to work around this center um, because of how rotten it is so the plan here is that uh, we're gonna 
saw a couple cuts, flip it one side, cut a couple more cuts off, flip it again, cut a couple, and then hopefully get down to where it's just a rotten end. And then the uh, plan is to cut that end off completely. Because as you see here on the side of the cant, there's a seam at the base and then a seam uh, of rot up further. So we're just trying to see what we can get solid wood and the only way to do that is to cut till you get to rot then turn it and then uh, hopefully uh, there's no more rotten pockets so eventually we will uh, just be getting a couple solid boards like this cut here is a solid board and then the next one down would be solid but after that there's not a whole lot of usable lumber in this log but it's just enough for it so gonna be of some value to the customer not as much as it could be if it was a solid white oak but since it does have sentimental value that is why we're sawing it so um we can't say no to the customer if there's something sentimental we can we can try to accommodate the best we can and sometimes it takes a lot longer than normal but uh if the customer's happy i'm happy so that's all that matters so since the start of the video uh, I started, uh, the weather's uh, changed dramatically in a couple of days. It went from uh, six inches of snow down to nothing in no time. And uh, now it's almost dry out again because we had two or three days of solid wind. Um, I hadn't uh, sawed the log for a while because I was uh, working on some other projects um, at Sawmill and getting other orders. Uh, out of the kiln and into cleaning them and getting them out the door so that's why the uh, weather's changed dramatically um, it's still nasty weather out uh, it's still windy um, it's still cold but uh, for the most part it's a nice day for sawn logs as you can see the dust is uh, blowing towards me um, so the wind uh, isn't in the perfect direction today but uh, just gotta get this log done so we uh, chose to saw in the uh, in the wind anyways it's not too bad um, once you get the cant down to under 12 inches usually the dust just goes straight to the ground it doesn't usually blow up back at you but uh, when you first start sawing um, like the log at 28 inches high all that dust will blow right in your face because it's uh, the blade and the bottom of the chute are uh, up higher um, typically on those days I wear uh, solid goggles like today I'm wearing goggles as well it's just uh, good for your eye protection and it's uh, just a smart thing to do keeps your eyes safe and clean and you don't have to worry about dust getting in them. So today it's goggles. Most days it's just safety glasses. But uh, with it being so windy, I had to wear uh, goggles today with a uh, foam strip around the outside. I didn't want to uh, deal with all the dust getting in my eyes. So here on the side of the log, we can see uh, the rot is going up at a diagonal towards the top. So. Um, that part's gonna have to get cut out. But right now we're just trying to get the camp um, rot out of the center and then uh, we're gonna cut about one or two feet off of this log and make it fit. And then uh, that'll be enough. So if you guys are new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more sawmill and uh, lumber content and I hope that you uh, enjoy the videos. If there's something that you want to see or you haven't seen, uh, just leave it, like, share, and leave a comment in the section below. And uh, I'll try to do a video or comment back at it. And uh, well, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this video. Um, it's just me sawing this camp down, uh, we're sizing it down a little bit, and. Uh, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope to see you in the next one.
Oh. <laughs>